Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. My name is Richard Evans and today we're going to talk about vertical video. So whether you're working with digital signage, social media, etc., vertical video is everywhere. And the nice thing is that our TriCaster live video production systems allow you to mix and match different aspect ratios and then output them as vertical video sources. So today I'm going to show you how to do it. Let's take a look. All right, so the first thing I want to show you is after booting up your TriCaster where you go to configure a session to be in a vertical video format. So uh, we're going to start up a new session by clicking right here, new session. And let's enter in a name first. We'll just call this one vertical video test. All right. And if we click on this carrot for our video settings, You'll see that I have a couple different options here and you'll see that my aspect ratio, I can do it horizontally or even square or vertical, which is what I want to do here. So let's go ahead and select that. All right, and then I'll go ahead and just start my session. Start live production. And now we just wait for our session to boot up. All right, so here we are within the TriCaster TC1 interface, and for the most part, everything looks the same like you would normally use a TriCaster for, except all of our video inputs are coming in vertically along with our preview and program outputs as well. So first thing you're gonna notice is that the uh, input number one, which is what I have a camera plugged into right now, is coming in sideways. What, I am defying the laws of gravity right now. No, I'm not, uh, because I have a camera that is normally going to be uh, broadcasting via a horizontal video format plugged in via SDI into my TriCaster. So uh, what I need to do now is tell my TriCaster to treat that video source differently so that I can use it in the vertical aspect ratio instead of side to side. Uh, so to do that, let's open up the settings for input number one. And you'll see under the source selection is I have an option under setup to rotate that particular video source, which is gonna give us our desired effect here. So if I click on this drop down, let's select 270 degrees and boom, now I am where I need to be. So I got one input in, let's start to add some more sources to it. Uh, again, since I'm on a TriCaster, I can bring in all kinds of different sources, either via uh, NDI, physically connected SDI camera like I'm doing now. So let's go ahead and grab some more. All right, so let's go into input number two. And I'm going to browse my network and bring in the output of one of my other TriCasters here, which is my TC1 demo system. And then I have a host on her virtual set. So that's another way to bring these in. And now if I just switch between these, I can just switch them like I would a normal everyday show. So uh, just another simple way for you to uh, bring in sources and then start to switch between them. But let's add a third source in here. Uh, so I'm gonna bring in a tool that normally you would be seeing people viewing vertical video sources on, which is a phone. Mobile devices are probably the the, the most common way that you're seeing people ingest or to view <laughs> uh, vertical video sources. So, since there's also an application for this bad boy, I can bring that in as well. This is the NDI HX camera app, which you can find in the iTunes store. So if I go ahead and click on input number three here and select on my source dropdown, I'll select Richard's iPhone, select that, and ta-da! You get a little behind the scenes. Sorry, please excuse my mess uh, over here in the studio. It's just me in here. Okay, so uh, again, normally when you're using a, a phone or viewing it, it's going to be wanting to be used as a horizontal source uh, for either viewing or sending video. So we need to go back into the TriCaster and tell it, nope, this is the correct way. All right, so we'll do the same thing under the setup sources here. Sorry, I got a camera in my hand <laughs> and a mouse. Uh, I can select rotate 270 degrees and now I can use this exactly the way I want to. So pretty awesome. And if I go through, I can now just switch my show like I, I normally would. So I have all these different sources here to choose from. Uh, I can even add graphics in here. So uh, for example, I'll bring in one of my basic graphics and let me bring that on screen and put my phone down. All right, uh, I could type in here. Type in vertical video. 
boom. So now you have a pretty cool way of being able to send out your different sources. Now keep in mind uh, on some of these different graphics uh, that we're working with, uh, this particular one is in the center, but let's say I grab something that's more left justified and I try to bring that on screen, you see that that doesn't show up because that particular graphic is left justified. So I can either use the positioning tool to move it where I need it to be or just find a graphic that's more appropriate like the one I have here. All right. Oops, and then make sure to reset your positioner. Okay. Now, another thing that I want to show you here is on my desk, I have this monitor plugged into the SDI output number one of my TriCaster. Now, this is just a typical monitor that you would use to plug in, say, an interface. So it's typically used to uh, standard aspect ratios, like 1920 by 1080. But since we're pushing out a vertical video signal, we need to tell this monitor to treat it a little bit differently. So if I go back into the interface, let's do exactly that. So let's go ahead and open up the program uh, configuration by opening that up. And then the output configuration, uh, again, I have my uh, SDI cable plugged into mix number one here. So it wants to send it out via the session resolution. And right now, it doesn't know what to do with that. So let's go ahead and select under this drop down 1080i. And now check it out. Now I have my monitor showing what I need it to. Kind of, because again, we need to rotate this a little bit. All right, now if I hit transform on the output configuration, I can then set that how I need to, and now rotate it 90 degrees, and now I have it exactly where I need it to be. And then I can switch my show like I normally would, and I have a grand old time. So as you can see, using vertical aspect ratios is a great way to get your content out streaming or recording to say a digital signage, to social media posts, you name it. Now, if you like this tutorial video but want a little bit more, make sure you go to our YouTube page at youtube.com slash newtechinc. Also, be sure to talk to your local reseller or visit our website at newtech.com for more information on new tech products. And check out newtech.tv where we're going to be producing a whole bunch of content uh, about upcoming uh, product releases, uh, information, and testimonial and interviews from new tech users. Until then, thank you all for watching and be sure to tune in next time for another edition of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials.